Shampoo skater again. Um, I'm back to card making. Yay! <laughs> oh, I do love the 3D projects, but oh, it can be a bit stressful. But I love it. Let's take my card. Um, so I do a sketch on a Monday. I've popped a new one up today, and we've already had a fantastic entry off the gorgeous Georgie uh, Georgie Burns. Absolutely beautiful. Um, let me see. It's a simple sketch. It's just a square with its another rectangle at the bottom and an oval. And so I've been playing with my uh, bloom. Blooming basket again. Oh, it sounds awful, doesn't it? Blooming basket. <laughs> but I love this. Absolutely wonderful. And the embossing folder that comes with it. I placed an order today. Ordered this set again. So uh, it's going to be going towards some prizes that I'm going to start building up now for my 10,000k service. That would be amazing, wouldn't it? We're up to 5,225, I think it is. But yeah, I've ordered this set again and I'm going to be starting to collect stuff now. And then I'm going to do a massive giveaway when I've got 10,000 subscribers. So press the button. <laughs> so this is the sketch, a copy of the sketch. You're more than welcome to go over to my Facebook. I'll leave a link below. Uh, ask, come into the Stamp with Joy and ask to join. And you can join in every week with a sketch. Leave comments. Everyone leaves comments. It goes on the blog then once a week. So you can go on the blog and have a look there. Your creations on my blog. That would be fantastic. Everybody loves that. So this is the sketch today. It was simply a bordered square with another piece at the back and an oval. But no sentiment. But this is how we come up with things all by our own self. So I did add the dark blue and I wasn't too sure about it after. Because I didn't put enough on this one. So I'm going to do the blues again. But I'm going to tone down that really dark blue but it's in pacific point absolutely lovely we haven't got pacific point we've got uh, the light night of night of navy so i toned it down with the white one there went back over and blended in and added in my winker stella i don't know if you can see that but oh i love it so i added some of the enamel uh, glitter dots and some of these lovely sequins where i can find them i put them down i can't find them <laughs> what have i done with them oh there they are and they do a nice pale blue one in this. And these are from Tootie Fruity. So I did add three of each. I added actually four of those because it's pleasing to the eye. Uh, one, three, five, seven odd numbers apparently. So we're going to use those again as well. I haven't put a sentiment inside yet. Uh, I normally do that when I know who's having it. But these are going in the box for the range cancer challenge as well. Isn't it beautiful? You do miss a little bit off using the oval, but it's it's not that noticeable. It's the baskets and the actual flowers that count. And I do apologise, my back is killing me today. So I have run my oval through the big shot already and my embossing folder. <clears throat> up and down, up and down, picking that machine up. I can't, it's got to stay on the side now and I have to go over there. So, and I didn't want to leave you blank looking at an empty space while you really crank things through the machine. So I've done it prior. So, uh, and here's my little, this is from the Springtime Foils. And this is just short of three, uh, well, it's three and three quarters, just so I had that tiniest little border all the way around. So, yeah, this is the sketch, so what we're following. It's basically like this. And you want to go over there in the Stamp With Joy page and, and just join in. Everybody loves it. They look so forward to uh, having a new sketch up. And we had a 3D week last week, as you know. So, yeah, this is my project. And I love it. I think it's beautiful. And it's not very often many people put blues together for with a flower, a basket of flowers. But I thought I'd be different. <laughs> so there's my stamp. I am going to do the same black memento because it stops the blends from uh, bleeding. This is that you are loved, which is my sentiment. And I'm going to need my soft sky background paper. I'm not going to score it on the trimmer. I'm just going to fold it on the trimmer. If I score for something, if there's something wrong with my arm. And I've, I have cleaned it. I've got new ones somewhere, but I don't know where I've put them. But it seems to be gouging at my paper at the minute. No matter what I do. I've changed the blade. 
It's just me. I need to order some more mats. It's only about three or four pound. But I've got some and I don't know where to put them. <laughs> Typical, isn't it, when you've got a lot of crafting stuff. So nice and crisp. I always go both ways. It tends to keep your card flat and close there. I'm not attaching nothing uh, yet until the end. Because I want to wrap some of this beautiful, beautiful ribbon round. Isn't that gorgeous? It's still available. It's the um, stitched ed edge ribbon. And it's in the ma uh, main catalogue at the moment. Whether it retires in June, nobody knew. So I thought I'd give it some use. So my phone folder's done. My scrap piece of paper's in. Even though my pad... Oh, I tell you what, I'll leave it today. I'm going to change my paper, so... Let's get this inked up. Mister's playing on his game. Poochie's asleep in, in the lounge. And it's my time for a bit of peace and quiet and a crafting session with you. All here in my kitchen with me. <laughs> but it feels like you're all here. I'm chatting to you. I'd love to be able to see everyone's responses. And I will work out one day how to do a, a Facebook Live. So that way we can have a chat and a conversation, even if it's just on the screen. Love this stamp set. And it's a really big one. Isn't that beautiful? How pretty is that? So much detail in the basket. It's absolutely wonderful. I love it. This is my scrap and all for my message which I'm going to do now and leave to dry and guarantee I'll do it at last minute and smudge it everywhere so this says you are loved isn't that beautiful anyone receiving a card with that message on would feel truly blessed I'm going to pop this in the bottom corner mist is on my roll again he always gets carried away on his game bless him but I've heard you say you can't hear him, so that's good. I'm going to leave that to one side to dry off a little bit. <coughs> oh, look at that. I can't stand that muck. Oh, I will fetch this in just so I can hide that bit of paper. <laughs> so in come the blends. I love these. They're my favourites. And you shouldn't store them upside down, uh, standing up like this. You should leave them laying flat, which is what I do. I only stand them up when I'm using them. So I'm just going to go around in my little basket and I'm using the paler just so I can then add the tone on the basket later. But it's nothing to it. You've probably seen me colour loads of times. But it's just something very, very therapeutic about this. Calm down, mister. Bless his little soul. We've got the wor the weave of the basket here underneath. It's lovely and it goes intertwined. And it's lovely. So I'm trying to be as gentle as I can. You can see some of the basket rim there as well. And this beautiful. I don't know if that's supposed to be um, like a ribbon or something. But I don't know. So, just going down the sides of the basket. Once I've got the sides down, I can then really go to town. Following in these colours now. See, it doesn't take long once you've... Uh, it's just about going around the edges, making sure you don't go over the edges. But it doesn't really matter with these pens because you've got the white. And this will pull out any colour that you, if you've gone over, like say, tack, you can't even tell there. There's none there even, but I'm just showing you, you can pull it away. <laughs> so I've used the dark, uh, the, the paler one to start off with. I'm now going to come in with the darker one. I'm going to use the nib on this one. I'm just going to go every other basket. Twirl. 
just to give it a two-tone look. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. What I might do is just stick to the the, the paler colours of. I'm going to use Bermuda Bay, and I'm going to use the Pool Party. Absolutely lovely. Now on the sides of the basket, I'm just going down every other one to add a lot of colour. And then underneath the basket weeds, you can see gaps and just filling those gaps in. And there. It's just where the shade would be. Absolutely fabulous. Oh, I love this set so much. It's just so pretty. People say, oh, it's great for Mother's Day, great for Easter. It's great for anything. It's it's a basket of flowers that you can give a basket of flowers to anybody, anytime. And just shading it under the petals of the leaves. Isn't that perfect? Love it. I'm just going to go along the bottom ones as well. And we're doing the sides. Every other one. Perfect. Look at that. Look at the detail. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely love it. So that's my blend. I'm going to start off with the paler of my flowers. And I'm just going over. I think my tip is starting to wear out a bit because I've used them so many times. I might have to order a new one. It's a good thing I bought the set as a set, but you can buy them individually, light and dark, or as a, as a combo together. So that's brilliant. So if one pen runs out that it tends to use a lot, you can just buy the whole pen. I think it's, you see it on the green pale on the nib? So that's why it's not... But I've hammered these pens. I use them all the time. I don't even use, I even use them in everyday things. When I'm doing stuff for other people. I use these all the time. I just love them so much. So I'm going to go in now with a little, slightly darker. And just add an extra little bit of tone. Where the back of the petals would catch there. And be darker with the shade. Absolutely stunning. So this tip hasn't gone. I don't use this tip very often. It might just be me. I might just be pressing on too hard. Mr. Boyce is going out for every now. <laughs> Gets carried away on his game, bless him. Yes. Isn't that pretty? Adding colour. Just a tiny little bit. Tone on tone even is just amazing. Love that. Now I'm going to move on to the paler of the Bermuda Bay. <coughs> Not going to... Just going to test it first. Yeah, that's a better colour. So I'm going to give some depth in the centres of the flowers. And then just give touches here, there and everywhere to my paler line. Just to add a bit more depth. Isn't that lovely? And then what I'm going to do is, I tend to miss this flower off for some reason, I don't know why. There 
like it a little bit there. Back of this leaf, back of this leaf. Now I'm just going to go back in with the pale, the, oh no that's the dark, I don't want the dark, I want the pale. And I'm just going to blend those colours together, give it a bit more depth. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I love it. Perfect. See, my nib is white. It's, got, it's drained of its colour, I think. And I am storing them laying down. So, right, I'm going to use my pale old olive. Just going to brush down these leaves. Oh, this is so therapeutic. And I'm going to go... Yeah, I did that with my other one. I used these as little leaves as well. Because I don't think... With this flower, it's so big. I don't think there's enough green in there. So by adding these on here... It's giving you that little extra bit of green. Perfect. Oh, it's lovely. Right, I'm going to add just the tiniest little bit of the dark now. And this is just going down each line to bring some contrast in. Perfect. I'm not going to touch the paler ones. I don't think it needs it. So that's my blends. So going back down and laying down. Oh, it's so pretty. Isn't that lovely? We can have any colour flowers we wish. <laughs> so now I'm going to attach my piece of card with my fast food. And I know I'm using this like mad, but it's running away. And then knows no one can't get it anymore. Once it's gone, it's gone. I didn't try even to water any today. I just totally forgot all about it. But yes, and then you get reminders pop up on your demonstrator page saying, fast views, when it's gone, it's gone. <laughs> oh, I'd love these papers together. Like just the tiniest little border all the way around. And then this beautiful flower going on here. But I'm going to attach my ribbon first. This is going around here, making sure I've got enough. And I add a bit of few. I'm going to lay that on there first. I think this works both way around. It's really pretty. So I'm going to attach some fast views on the other side. I'm trying to line up just so I know where to put my glue. I don't think we need that much. Let's snip off what I don't need. But I will adjust first. Perfect. So what I'm going to do is lift that up there. Get rid of the excess. It's a really thick ribbon. Really thick. It's like a jersey material. Like shoelace material. Isn't that pretty? So I'm adding dimensionals on the back. What I do, with a, when, I'm, when I'm, I can't even say it, when I'm adding a bigger piece, I tend to go for the strips on the side. Just to add. Just so it's pretty even all the way around. Plus we use these bits anyway. When we are, nothing goes to waste on the dimensionals, nothing whatsoever. So I use them up on my strips like this. You might think, oh, there's a lot there, there's a lot there. There is a lot there, but I don't mind. I want to make sure my card is secure. And it's easier to peel them off. <laughs> Method in the madness. 
So, if you've watched today's video with the cards, wow, we're up to we are up to 656 cards. Absolutely fantastic. And I need a couple of my dimensionals for here. So I'm going to add one at the bottom, one at the top, and one either side. Again, stability. I'm going to bring in my card. I'm going to make sure this is quite level at the top. A nice little board all the way around. And perfect. Get rid of my sheet now. Yeah. Oh my word, love this. I'm going to add my wig still at the end. I did it uh, before on the before I attached and it started to warp my card. I think I put too much on. But I never have too much wig Costello. You can have too much card bendage. <laughs> so, don't put your basket on upside down. <laughs> like I did my drawers last night. Not my drawer. <laughs> the little drawer. Not my drawers. Gonna come down about halfway. I love that. Love it. Yeah, these beautiful enamel dots. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to get some more of those. The br they're left. the blue is my favourite colour. Absolutely beautiful. So I'm gonna add three again. I'm gonna spread them out. I'm gonna go for a paler one up here. Yeah. Looking about there. And these beautiful sequins. I love the fact that they've got adhesive on the back and you haven't got to glue them down. Use the fine to, to uh, the fine tip glue pen. Oh these are just perfect. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Couple more up here. Six and seven. Perfect. I'm going to add some little rhinestones to the centres, just to add a bit more. I love these. They're like little crystals. Perfect. Love it. Oh, I love it. Right, got to tie my bow as well. But I'm just going to grab my Winker Stella. Just going to go over. Yes, yeah, so it's oof. Very liquidy. I finally had my appointment through for the chronic pain team. It's not for another seven weeks. <laughs> You'll be in pain for another seven weeks. Oh well, I've lived with it for this long now. My toxic bones feel like they're doing this when I'm sitting down and walking. and <gasps> It's getting horrendous now. So I try not to walk too far. I'm just going to add a dosh to my leaves as well. Make it look like morning dew. Absolutely fabulous. Oh, I love that. Love it. That's perfect. So, I'm going to fetch in my beautiful thread. It's loads on this roll. Absolutely loads. Look at it. So deep. There's loads of it. Grab my little bow maker. Lifesaver. <laughs> I always like to leave the roll attached because that way you don't get any waste. Well, you do get a little bit, but not nowhere near as much. And you think, oh, that's not very neat. Just wiggle it to the centre. And that. Isn't that pretty? Absolutely gorgeous. Love it. So I'm going to snip, I'm going to really snip now because of these ends. This ribbon is really thick. Oh, I need proper. 
that's better. I think that's a bit too long. She's good, really, so I can... Do you want three hands so you can... And I'm loving all the fact that you people leave... All you lovely people, should I say, leaving me comments. I think it's brilliant. It just makes me feel like I've connected with you all. It's absolutely amazing. And I'm going to pop this beautiful bow right under the, under the basket. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, I love it. So here's my glue dots. And I'm going to pick one up. And then I'm going to pick another one up. Double it up there. And I'm going to spread them out. And then I'm going to attach. I love it. That is just the sweetest. Now with my... Oh, I'm going to use my trimmer. I'm not the safest of person with scissors. What I'm saying, I just... I'd end up wrapping wonky lines and everything. So I'm going to turn this this way. Keeping it on that straight line there. I'm going to cut that out. Oh, it's... Oh, oh my gosh. It's uh, a little bit thick. I need to come out of... Oh, my gosh. I was right with my scissors. That's a bit closer, that's better. So, let's see. Perfect. Yay. <laughs> I'm not the best customer in the world. Oh my god, I forgot my coffee. Mmm. I'm loving people are sending me coffee cups on cards. It's <laughs> probably because I drink too much coffee. I'm going to snip that end a little bit closer. I'm going to flag this. Oh, well, that's a bit long, isn't it? So. That's better. You can always make things better. Catch my small dimensionals in now. Do you know what I keep forgetting? That there are some other stamps in this set. <laughs> like this gorgeous little butterfly. This little tag. That's absolutely perfect actually. I'm going to add an inner card. Ooh, just for this one. <laughs> I will do it on the other one. I could put that. But there, but there. I just like. Stuck it on there. You are loved. Isn't that beautiful? I like the other one as well. It says here for you. I love the font. Beauty. Look at that. Straggler. <laughs> Do you get many of those? So I've added my Winker Stella and my sequins and my glimmer dots. And my gorgeous little bow. So let's grab an inner card. And I'm going to stamp that lovely little butterfly in a couple of places. I'm not going to colour it in this time. Oh, I can now, can't I? Because I'm not doing it on my actual card. Can add a little splash of colour. I'm just going to decorate down the sides. I have done this like this before, but I think it's just the cutest thing. And I'm going to stamp. You are loved here for you. When I can find my. And I'm going to do this in the Pacific Paint. Beautiful colour ink. 
absolutely stunning. And I'm trying to keep this straight. Oh, it's lovely. Absolutely lovely. What I might do, I might just grab one of my blends and add a little splash of colour to those beautiful, beautiful pops. I'm just going to go down the centre. Just having a bit of colour on the wings. Oh, it's fabulous. I love it. Love it. Oh, that's a dark colour, but it just come off. No need to worry. I've done something I don't normally do, and that's an inside of a card. <laughs> Oh, but it's beautiful, beautiful. You could also add some little rhinestones to them. I'm going to add some fast views. And I'm going to pop this in. Nice little border all the way around. And there we have it. It's absolutely gorgeous. Cool. Let me state my thing now. But there's my other one. This is this one. Toned it down with the flowers. But my bows are there. Beautiful. Oh, well, I hope you give it a go anyway. And I hope you share and subscribe to my channel. That'd be fantastic. Um, and then there's a little bell that'll come on straight after, after you press the subscribe button. And it'll say... You press that and it will send you their notifications every time I upload, which tends to be every single day, God willing. But I love you all. Until next time. Bye.